One on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And this is just gonna be a video walking around showing all the new different stuff and everything, and everything about what's on this lot, what's going on, and what we're trying to pull off here or something. Not including the siding and the roofing and all this stuff. I'm behind so far on calling people and everything. I got we got a refrigerator to put together, all kinds of stuff. But that's kind of what this is about. And past the 15th here, the tax day, things should get a little different. Right now, I'm just super pushed, super stressed. I can't, I can't keep track of helping. When I got help, I don't even know how to line it out because I'm so, there's so many things and it's just so hard to keep all these things going. Plus try and get ready for winter and all that. And like, yeah. So that's what this video is about. Just going around looking at everything and you hear the chickens laughing it. And I'm giving away a free Mora knife if you can guess yeah, you'll see in the video, there'll be a point. If you can guess what it is and don't do it in the instant stuff, there will not be any game for a free more knife in the instant chat while it's in a premiere. Down below is where you have to comment. Make your guess, I'll look at it, we'll do it to it. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night. Here we go. I'm out here at my lot and I'm out here trying to get the morning going and trying to figure out what exactly is going to be done for the day. I got a lot of stuff to do. And I got a big tax deadline coming up on the 15th here. My mom came up and tried to, not tried to, she was a huge help. But the problem is, is with Rich, he's MacGyver, McDougal. He's McDougal. He can fix and do pretty much anything. But what we're messing with here is a mess. And when it comes to the doing the paperwork or where we're doing I'm so pushed and stressed and just behind the eight ball all the time that I simply have to handle what comes up and I end up working on this or working on that or I end up doing paperwork half the day and I can't get out to do anything else. Or I get outside and get working for three hours and next thing you know, I've missed so much inside that it's pitiful. I've got the clients overseas and I'm trying to do all my own billing and do all my own collections and do all, I'm doing every part of an office job. Rich is doing every part of an outside job. And when we can combine that a little more, we're gonna get a lot done. But I'm gonna do a simple walk around and like, look at the things around here and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and why you see junk everywhere. Because junk everywhere is definitely something that I've got. And with that in mind, I'm gonna start at the very back of my place and just kind of walk through the, the comings and goings or what have you. So, hope you enjoy. If you don't, then, I've warned you once already, and I'm gonna warn you again. Don't watch the video, man. It's that simple. But here we go. Junk. Just junk everywhere. And it's the kind of junk that I'm throwing away. And I'm starting over with this, tearing this building apart, and it's definitely got a problem. I mean, I've got stuff in this building that's just been ruined by that. Big old hole in the roof, and all this, you can't see it, has fallen down. This is falling down more. It just keeps going. This has to be messed with soon. It is a mess. Now, that's the dark moment. Um, the rest of the stuff, the minute I'm dead, nobody's going to know what any of it is or where it goes. And it's definitely a problem. This stuff, it just got all uncovered. And over the years, it didn't get recovered. And I've got good blocks here and good this and good that. Hey, look at this. This is covered up, but this blew off. Now, what are you gonna do with that? That's a factory, I think it's a 396 block for a 69 SS. Um, and that's what I mean. The stuff around here, I know what it is. That's going on the uh, intranet for sale. This thing, it's a chipper shredder. There's no motor. I bought this thing and I paid $10 for it. I couldn't pass it up. You know what? I paid six bucks for that at the auction. And I'm gonna get it on Marketplace here and get it sold. I've got, look at that. I bought this at the auction. It's just awesome. I paid hardly nothing. And now I'm gonna sell these. That's, that's 150 bucks all day long, at least 100. I think I paid $15 or something. But these Super Swamper wheels, or tires, they got chrome wheels, they fit a bug. We've chopped up a lot of our stuff out of here. The frost got a lot of our things. We just weren't ready for this early frost. 
and yeah, I'm gonna do some weed eating today. I got, I paid eight dollars for this whole stack of parts, and I know what some of it is. Me and Richard guessing what some of it is, but it's a whole stack of parts. I mean, I don't even know what I do with it. I just got it cheap. That stuff we got out of a storage unit, and got to get that listed. That power washer runs, and I hate to throw it away, but I got this extra stuff. I mean, maybe five bucks, five bucks marketplace. It's better than putting it all together and um, paying to dispose of it. Tire machine. I got a tire machine. My dad brought up this tire machine where we can do our, our own tires. We've got all the tools of the trade now. I'll tell you. Tires. Look at this. Crushed cans. We've been saving and recycling. We're a green place. And these cans are big money in California. I'll tell you that right now. Junk. Box of blankets and junk. So this is all getting cleaned up. I'm going to start weed eating this week. It's going to be a whole new thing as we keep going because now we've got a little space in here. And I showed this in a previous video. But there's a lot of junk. And this here needs to all move up right up in here somewhere where we can start working on cars. But as new shelving units and tables and stuff come in, we're starting to get a little bit organized. And it doesn't really look it, but we are. We're, we're really organized here, pretty much. This racking, I paid five bucks a piece for these. And they came with the glass shelving. So I got all this glass shelving around here. Look, there's a whole stack of it over on that thing. But I've got 10 of these racks. <laughs> I sold three of them. And the three I got 200 bucks for, 225. My moose antler table, me and Katrina bought. That's gonna go online as soon as we can. I got pictures of it the other day, so I need to, I guess I'm really behind it listing. Look at this. A whole box, and I got two more boxes like this, of king-size condoms. What would you do with a box of condoms like that? I'm going to try and sell it on Marketplace, see what happens. Power going across, that's been accomplished, which got a socket installed. We've had that there for years waiting. And this don't look like much, but we've been organizing in here and people stealing stuff, so now I've got more room, right? <laughs> um, the, uh-oh. You guys doing okay? I think it's a little hot. You all doing okay? Come here. Hi, hi. How you doing? That's a Jersey Giant. And the other ones are Leghorns. I think it's a bit too hot for you guys. We're going to raise this up a bit. See what happens. Okay. So, this stuff over here, it's all fiberglass, and I got the epoxy and everything to build these cars. Um, the molds, and I got all that to do it. To do it to it. Okay, my battery's going dead, so I'm going to change that at some point. But I'm walking around the whole place showing the whole thing. There'll be more interesting parts than others. Doghouse. Five bucks. Five bucks. Couldn't pass it up. Couldn't pass it up. Now, stolen stuff. When all the stuff got stolen, this stuff got left outside. Nice, powered, I guess they were, got spooked or something, and next thing you know, they left that. But I got all these bumpers and stuff sitting out here, and this pack of squalor here is going to be totally cleaned up and totally changed around because I need the space. And me and Rich were talking about what to do on this corner. I mean, Right now, that's trash. It's all going in the trash. My trash truck thing trailer is full. I don't care about selling these Trans Ams. I would like to get this sold. I don't even know if this freaking thing works, man. I've never even seen that mower, I don't think. But this is all patterned off, and we were talking about using some of this space. And we really could use some of this space to stack a couple cars. Um, I still need to be able to get back here because I've got a lot of stuff in here and a lot of space that I can make in there. So, thinking about that, this thing is just in the way. This car right here, and it's one of my, it's my best car. It's definitely cool. It's a 68 Cutlass. It's the HO442, whatever the holiday Mr. Big, W30, there you go. It's a W30, and, but this could be moved. And like, I'm not looking to sell it. I'm never gonna sell it, I'm not. Um, so why is it sitting here like this? Got to do something with it. And I got all this room in here. And then you got this piece of junk. It's worthless. It's literally worthless. I need to clip the weeds from around it, 
take a couple pictures, and throw it on Marketplace for 100 bucks. Think about this. Why isn't that truck listed? I should have it listed and sold already. Haven't done it. I need lot help. I need to get some lot help, some extra help. Basically, what it boils down to is if I had a secretary to help me part-time, and if I had a part-time lot help guy outside, if me and Rich had some help, it would really change things around here. And once you finally get good help, then all of a sudden, you need more help because you get more things to do. But this here truck, nice truck. I'm gonna be getting it up just as soon as I can. Sweet, very popular trucks. This truck, I don't know, might just end up keeping it. Put a Cummins in it or something, but lots of stuff. I got this camper shelf here. Gotta get this sold. It's on Marketplace. I put it on for 150, got a lot of interest. I think I'm a little high. Generator, junk. My amphibious vehicle, junk. But it needs to be put on Marketplace. It needs to be sold. And it's simple. This thing, I don't care if I sell it. It's yard art. This here table thing I bought with the 68, 69 El Camino front end, it needs to be put together and put on the Marketplace and sold. Um, I'm gonna get that C10. That's a very nice short bit, <laughs> excuse me. I'm gonna get that C10 listed for sure. And then, you know, just this stuff needs to be moved around. There's no rhyme or reason to why it's all where it's at. So I'd like to move it around. In fact, I've got a spot right here. If this car was moved around differently, I'd have a nicer area. But I can't have all these weeds and stuff in here. It's got to be taken care of and changed. It's not the way it should be. Now, this needs to be sold. I'll take hardly nothing for it. Uh, I'll take uh, 950 bucks. It's a great clean car. Um, this needs to be pictured before winter. I definitely got a couple things, and that, I want to get rid of that. Peel that tire right off of that rim. Would you believe that? Okay, well, that's half the lot almost. This thing, we're getting it running. We've just been working on it, trying to get fuel out of the injector pump. And that's becoming an issue. Um, the gator, the gator's just a great little tool around here. Throw some things in the back and do it to it, right? This has became our tool truck, which is not really a good tool. However, as crappy as it may look, this here mower is the bomb. It does a great job for us. But this here thing needs to go online, be sold. It's a beautiful K10 with a 396. Now we've got an implement section now. This one, I sold it, man. Head gasket went 30 miles down, 20 miles down the street. So I gave them their money back. We actually have an implement farm now. And so we've been having implements out here. We've got the rototiller. Really don't want to sell that because I'm rototillering some stuff next year. Got a spreader. Got a, another rototiller over there. And this one here is the snowblower. These two need to go. Got a snow plow. And all this goes on Massey Ferguson's or, uh, oh, come on now. Or, um, skid steers. Got a trencher. Got a uh, auger. Man, we got some equipment. That's all going to get tore down soon. I want to tear this down and redo what I have out here. This is my car. I need to do something. Three heaters. They were over in Drummond. I bought them back. Think about that. The amount of stuff there is to do around here. We've got all this stuff laying out here for the siding. And Richie's job needs to be started as soon as possible. I've got big issues in California. I've got to get some stuff done there. Big issues. Just big issues everywhere. And like, it just keeps going. Brand new Walmart tires. I just bought these. The tires need to come off my trailer. And some off this one, like, look, this ain't what we want on here. Look at this thing. That is not a tire that I want on the road. And my tire wore that thing down on the way back. And my trailer, I mean, because I got a bad axle. Seamless siding, buddy. We're ready. We got everything loaded up, as you might have seen. But we got to peel all this stuff off with that little eraser thing. I'm going to see what happens and try that out today. I got one. Uh, Richie's Soffit and J-Channel and trim and all this kind of crap is all there i got tools laying everywhere and the tools need to be picked up and put away because i can't find them because they're out somewhere fuel pump got this with a truck awesome deal got to keep it forgot plum about that i was happy making money on the truck but kind of cool i got to keep that um generator bought it at the auction this won't be going anywhere anytime soon this will run my whole house you're laughing chickens buddy they are starting to laugh. Hopefully we can hear them. See, they got that laugh to them. Let me get closer. Caddy, Mike Astringer. 
maybe we need to take this stuff and put it up front. That would be kind of cool. We'd have more implements. This is a thermo lay pothole patcher. I don't even know how I'm going to move that thing. Ripped it off the truck and sold the truck out from under it. Got a hydraulic motor. He's just laughing away. Came in to get a battery. I have, me and Katrina got, 400 posters. 400. We're talking more, more posters than you even know what to do with. All right, I'm starting in a different place here because this was the pig's old pen. Rich and me, Rich. Rich and me and Katrina moved the hog right down that chute. And the chute's gone and it's a whole different place. But this area is going to get cleaned up over the next few days here. And we're going to make this all work out and be different. Um, the tools, the tools. Jeez, dude. It just can't have so many tools laying out all over. It, it adds up just having them. I mean, this is a lot of tools to have laying in your yard. I mean, it's Richie's air pump. I mean, Richie's nail gun. I think it's my screwdriver or clutch gun. Or I got one somewhere around here. No, that might be his. I think that's his breaker thing. What are you doing, Captain Cock? Well, my battery's going dead again. The chickens are everywhere. Hi, guys. All right. I had to change things around there. Battery went dead. And I got more stuff that came in. Rich got here this morning. He was over actually doing the, um, picking up the trailer this morning. Now, look at this. Yesterday, Rich took the, wow, sure hit that little ding, didn't it? But he was, took the fender flares off. You could tell where they were. And they're being sanded down. What are you using? A scuff pad? Yeah. That's like 400. I tried a piece of heavier stuff, but it's just way too coarse. Hammered. Yeah. Hammered. And we're going to start moving the oats, moving the stuff, putting this stuff and throwing. I don't know if I showed it before. I'm going to show the trailer and everything we bought at the auction. But these things, the weather got them, man. My tarp ripped apart. They're no good anymore. They were nice, really nice trash enclosures. Could have got, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks a piece. I paid five a piece. We got these, um, they're pretty nice too. They are particularly bored, but they don't have cardboard on the back. They're a decent um, shelving system. So got all that, that's cool. And then look at this chunk of wood. I bought this trailer at the auction and it's a decent old trailer, um, but it came with these big chunks of wood glue lamb log stuff and like beam actually log my butt glue lamb beam nice actual wood for something making chunks holding a semi in the air i don't know but got it the miniature horse she's always around still doing her thing she eating weeds what do you i mean it's, it's god's weed eater what are you doing bruce what are you doing what are you doing huh he's like i'm eating I'm eating. Okay, well, that's the thing. I got all these barriers. I need to put them on freaking marketplace also. In fact, I'm going to weed eat today. So when I do, I'm going to uncover this stuff and take some more pictures. But I was showing everything, walking around, giving the walk around, walk around. Um, I'm going to end up with the stuff I filmed yesterday and the uh, cage. And that's where you're going to win the prize in this here thing. I got a guy really interested in this GTA. I got to get back to him. <sighs> This needs to be pictured, this, this, um, what is this? Fall. And other than that, man, I figured out that the chickens actually love these crab apples. So, I've been giving them crab apples. Not bad. Hi, guys. So, slow day here, but it's a busy day. And all this stuff, man, there's so much junk, but we're gonna get a grip on it and get this stuff changed around. I would like the place to look better. And the way that I've stacked my stuff in here doesn't allow for that. But there's gonna be cars moved everywhere. And you know, the easiest way to move cars that don't run, I have no clue, it's a job. We've got a task ahead of us, that's for sure. But you're gonna see all this junk from out under the tree. It's just gonna look nicer out here. I want this place to look nicer. 
And I went for a long time of not caring how it looked because I wasn't here for actually moving stuff around for 10 years. And so it's just, yeah, I'm behind. The Tahoe is freaking beautiful. Can't wait to get the stuff done on that. I've came to the fact that this actually, I've got a lady coming to look at it. It might be sold. And this one is the easiest money around here if I just get it detailed. So these two will be for sale soon. The red Mustang needs to be for sale. I got a lot of different things that need to be done and I'm ready to do it. There's the other miniature horse, man. They do go in here and they eat their, they eat their weight in, in um, weeds, I'll bet, every month. That's for sure. But, well, that's that. Thanks for watching. That's the deal. And you know what else? Got to get this trailer moved out and around and over here and put it out on Marketplace. It just make everything look better. Free up the parking. And the thing is, I've got all this asphalt area here and I'm lacking so much and just having some other different cars here. So it's all happening. Don't remember what else I'm going to talk about, what else I'm going to show. The laughing cocks are getting their laugh down. It's pretty cute. And I'll make a video of that at some point when they get a little better at it. I need to buy a new piece there. I don't know where that went. I did have that. Huh. Oh well. You never know. Rich is trying to sneak into the pig pen. He's in. He is in. He was trying to take this gate with him to get past the pig. Because piggy pig. He's gonna see Rich. He's gonna go after Rich. We're gonna Are you seriously leaving? Shut him first. <laughs> you really She's doing good now. So anyways, the pig goes after Rich when he goes in there. And we gotta call Lily the pig whisperer. And she's gotta take care of Pig and make sure that he doesn't chase Rich down and take a bite out of his ass. Because that would hurt. It chews on nails and not nails, it chews on posts and it's tried to eat the chicken wire right out of his hands. The new crop of the sunflowers, they didn't get hurt by the frost, but we had frost. Look at this thing, man. God, he's made a sand pile over here. That's ridiculous. But we had a frost and I think it killed part of our stuff. Um, we had covered up most of the things, but um, yeah, the frost definitely got this stuff last night. God damn it. Well, it was fun while it lasted, huh? That's so shitty. Katrina's put a lot of hard work into this. And that just sucks. Frost, man. It's my farm. It's my farm's worst thing. But different kinds of videos, different kinds of things coming up. I mean, I, this thing, this whole chicken coop pig can pen has taken up a lot of our time. And I just actually had the the bannies they came through we're gonna bring these over here but i'm talking about nothing that well me and lily are over here and we're gonna get the easter eggers out easter. how are these guys doing um it is entirely oh my god I think it's way too hot in here. Because they're all over there. We need to pick this up a bit. How, how much degrees is it? In a thousand? No. Hold this. Hold this, hurry. But it's, this one says 102. Why can't you read it? Why am I reading it to you? So, 102. Here's our two. Easter eggers. What does the other one say? No, it doesn't. What does the other one say? This? Yeah. A hundred and twenty? A hundred and eleven. Hi, guys. Hello. I named one Dove and Dovey. You know, there's MacGyver and then there's McDougal. So we're going to show you the gate that McDougal made. It looks like it's MacGyver made. I mean, this is sweet. What we are is recyclers. We care about the planet and the environment around here. And I don't know if you can tell, but our gate, which is now, look at the hinges. Maybe you can recognize what this is from. In fact, I'll send a free Mora knife to anybody who can tell me what this is. What we made, or what Rich made, 
The gate post out of it. The gate. The whole gate. I mean, we got a threshold for heaven's sake. So, and we got a top hold or whatever the hell you want to call it. Wait, who the hell are you? I want to say I'm always your director. You're the director? Okay. So put up a little thing over here to keep the pig shit out. And now, this is the mean one, Katrina says. And this is peace. He actually flew out. Peace is not so peaceful. These are Easter eggers. It's your new place. It's your new place. This one's shit all over the place. That is Dovey. Um, Dovey, what? Can you screw this? Yes, I can. Alright. Back at you. What are you doing? You seem like a friendly chicken. Yeah. They so don't know what's been going on. They've been in a brooder their whole life. Look at that big chicken poop, man. Huh? Yeah, I know, huh? You got out. Well, that was quick. Okay. Happy flock. And my shadow's in the way, but they are all in there and that's our new chickens easter egg bannies where's these guys here you guys see the what we got going on these are the laughing cocks and lily you need to go over and get the water bowls and the feed bowls out of the easter egg or stuff and bring it over here the water thing's pretty big do it first by itself and there's a lot, a lot of chickens in here. Well, they don't know about the outside yet. Lots and lots of chickens. But these guys will have an inside like that. That's pretty cool. Open this up. See if they can come from the little egg boxes to here. We kind of overdid it on egg boxes. But... Okay, well that's the, the update. Where are you going? Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Like, comment, subscribe. There'll be a new video tomorrow. Yeah, that's all I know. We'll talk to you.